another day of chasing is inbound for the Shear team. With Tiv 2 all repaired, we plan to take it out for some action. Storms have begun to fire over the upper 3 mile lake and lower 3 mile lake area, starting to move east northeast towards Viroqua. Positioning myself in the forward plane downdraft, I head south to get a view of the updraft base. Alright, I'm going as fast as I can here. Amazing looking storm. Alright, we're going to take a, a left out of this road. On 71 here, to get a view. Heading eastbound on 71, I start to get a visual of the actual updraft base of the storm. Through the rain, a lowering in the cloud base is very visible. This wall cloud was bolstering some very strong rotation, as well as a possible debris cloud. Yeah, that's definitely a wall cloud. That might even be a tornado there. Is that debris? This is the first tornado of the day. And we're in perfect position. Yep. Tornado is on the ground. Should probably get east. The tornado continues to intensify, approaching my location. Multi-vortex. At one point, there was even four vortices on the ground at the same time. On radar, the hook looks like it's narrowly going to miss Viroqua. I decided to deploy and get a shot of it crossing the road right in front of me. Deploying now. Here comes the tornado. silos and started throwing pieces of debris across the road towards the tip. Luckily, there were no houses in the path of this tornado. storm behind us. Old storm in front of us. With a new storm forming to our west, we watch as the old tornado occludes and moves off to the north and east. The new storm begins to intensify very rapidly. One last view of this tornado. Looks like it's occluding.
even from east of the bridge, I already have a view of the rotating wall cloud. What's the situation here? I'm gonna keep going north. Due to a lack of road network options in this area of the map, I decide to cut north early in front of the tornado and get a view of it moving off into the distance, preparing for any other storms that could fire today. Look at this. Fortunately, I found a road, Pisota 41, putting me just south of Helma as the tornado takes a northern turn towards the town. With winds just in excess of 120 miles per hour, the tornado rips through the town, damaging roofs and exterior walls, ripping down trees. Panning the camera to the left, a third storm has taken shape, with a large wall cloud and a lowered funnel at the base. This tornado would plant for only a couple of minutes. After this brief touchdown, this storm would not be able to produce another tornado, and I'd have to call the chase for the day. But just the next day, things were going to get very intense. A textbook high-risk setup was taking place over Kisota County today. And our first storms had already started to fire again over the same region. Seeing as I was already in position from the previous day, I get ready for a big day for tornadoes. The first tornado begins to touch down just west of the road. Judging my distance between the tornado and how far forward I would have to drive to intercept, I come to the realization that there's just no time to deploy. Turning around to keep up with the storm, I watch as it heads towards Nateville. Power flashes are visible from across the road, and debris begins to fly, signaling the town was taking a direct hit from this tornado. The house in the middle was not hit by the tornado and did not receive significant damage. Only minor roof damage was noticed. Other parts of the town were not as lucky. A new storm began to fire, this time to the south. 
very quickly it was apparent that this storm might be a lot stronger. Already, a lowering in the base is clearly evident on this storm. Watching the bottom, I can notice left to right movement, and a funnel begins to form. This supercell was as textbook as it gets. You could pinpoint every single feature, from the tornado and wall cloud to the clear slot and the forward flank downdraft. The only thing missing here is an RFD, because we have very low precipitation. At first, this tornado would remain over open farmland, but it began slowly tracking towards the town of Haram. The moment the tornado entered the town, debris began flying through the air. Pieces of people's homes and lives tossed and turned in a matter of moments. A truly terrifying sight, and not something that you really want to see from a tornado this size and strength. I was still very far to the east, so I decided to head north as the sun went below the horizon. The tornado continued to intensify and pick up in speed, heading straight for 10 strike. This was a very electrically active storm with multiple lightning strikes flashing every second. And after that, I decided to call the chase, heading over to the towns that were affected. <laughs> 